Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Evil Weight Rich. This is the Anything Vlog, where I vlog about everything and anything. Today is uh, the beginning of a new series that I spoke about a week ago. First, I apologize for not putting a video up sooner. It's been like a week at least. Try to do one every week, but I've been trying to get this stuff set up. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, it is about video game consoles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start collecting the older consoles, like the Sega Genesis, which we have. Uh, this actually, this is the Saturn. And uh, we'll do the Atari uh, 2600, Super NES, uh, 3DO, uh, ColecoVision, you know, stuff like that. Um, I like to get the uh, uh, Jaguar as well, the Atari Jaguar. But I digress. I, I want to get um, all the systems. And right now I'm just going to show you the system that I have. And periodically as I get them, I'm going to show you more systems. Eventually I'll show you the games, but that's not. this is not about the games and the gameplay. It's basically about the systems themselves. And uh, that's what it's going to be about. So basically collecting the... Uh, older systems and uh, we'll just go from there all right so I have the Sega on the desk here I have the Sega uh, Sega Saturn so we're gonna go over that I'll give you a brief history on that and let's just check it out all right guys as you can see on the table here we have the Sega Saturn uh, I have my son recording for me so he can uh, move the camera around so you can get a good view of everything I'm gonna give you a brief history of it um, and uh, we'll just move on from there all right so the Sega Saturn is a 32-bit Fifth generation home video co uh, game console developed by Sega and released on November 22nd, 1994 in Japan. It was released May 11th, 1995 in North America and July 8th, 1995 in Europe. It was the successor of the successful Sega Genesis. The Saturn has a um, dual CPU archive, or, sorry, a dual CPU architecture and eight processors. Its games are in CD-ROM format, and its game library contains several arcade ports as well as original games. The Sega was initially successful in Japan, but failed to sell in large numbers in the United States. After the debut of the Nintendo 64 in late 1996, the Saturn rapidly lost market shares in the U.S., where it was discontinued in 1998, having sold 9.26 million units worldwide. The Saturn is considered a commercial failure. The failure of the Saturn development team to release a game in the, in the Sonic the Hedgehog series, known in development as Sonic Extreme, has been considered a factor in the console's poor performance. Although the Saturn is remembered for several well-regarded games, including Night into Dreams, the Panzer Dragon series, and the Virtual Fighter series. Its reputation is mixed due to its complex hardware design, limited third-party support. Sega management has been criticized for its decisions during system development and discontinuation. All right, guys, that's a, a brief history. I apologize for... Um, uh, missing some of the words and some of the stuff I had written down because uh, I'm going to do this series like I do the rest of them. I'm not going to edit anything. Um, I'm going to go from beginning to end without any editing. I'm not going to do any fancy stop motion or any of that. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do it, uh, I guess you'd say old school. So I will misspeak at times. I'm going to try to give you the information that you need. But I'm pretty excited about this series because I'm going to get a whole bunch of different systems. I have, I think, at least three or four on the way. Um, and um, some of them are hard to find, some are pretty expensive. Um, this uh, Sega Saturn, I don't think I mentioned it, was, a, it was the most powerful system when it came out. Um, the uh, PlayStation uh, was a much more popular one. Um, this one here is a, a fantastic system. Um, it has a, it was, it was the, one of the problems with this, from all my research that I've done, is that it was such a powerful system at the time that a lot of the developers and people who made the games had a hard time developing the games. It was not easy to make games for this because it had a lot of power and they were all learning. They're learning as they go along. The systems get more complicated. They have to grow with that. So uh, it's a very, very good system. Uh, like I said, I'm not showing any of the games, any of this stuff. I'm just going to show the consoles for now. Uh, we'll move to that later on. I want to do a room. I'm going to set up a room with the old monitor TVs uh, for the, uh, the older systems and I'm going to I'll film that as well as my room starts progressing. I'm not sure what it's going to be. But that's what this series is going to be about. And so we're going to move on to the next one. So hopefully I gave you what you needed. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment box. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do. 
And um, I hope you're going to enjoy this series. I'm going to enjoy doing it. All right, guys. I'm Evil Eight Rich, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll be somewhere else doing something else. Bye.